Hey folks, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna have a look at a 2022 Grand Design Solitude model number 3740BA. Just got four slides, bunks in the back, outside kitchen, two doors, weighs on 14 and a half thousand pounds. I hope you got your goose pants on for this one. We're taking off the training reels. I'm here like I was there, but better yet, I'm here with my friend, William Candy on the camera today. Keep it simple, buddy. Just like and subscribe to the channel, guys. And keep it keep it calm. Keep it, calm. <laughs> keep it simple. There we go. Right on, let's buzz through this guy here. Like I said, four slides, so a whole lot of unit going on. Molded front fiberglass cap right here. Wraps around the edges here fantastically. Gives us a really nice positive seal. We've got LED lights in through here. LED lights around that black portion, the front painted cap there. The black portion is painted, so it's not going to change colors on you, not going to distort on you at all. Dropping down below that, we do got our generator prep right in through here. Okay, that's what that box is for with that wiring. Notice we also have the solar charge kit on this guy. That's an option it's on this particular one, like I said. And then we have the residential fridge on this guy too. So they get they give you the two batteries there, prep, ready to go. Now, as we come from the side here. We've got 30 pound per paint tanks, one on either side. Magnet door latches there holding that door back. Pass through storage here. It's not very wide on this side, it gets wider on the other side, but there's a drop frame which gives us lots of height in through here. Our electric auto leveling controls are right there. Our convenience center is here. All your plumbing, your black water flush kit, all that kind of stuff is done from here. Now, we've got the residential fridge on this one, which comes with an ice maker, and we have an additional shut off for that. That's more so for winterizing, but that's what that valve's for. Low point drains, uh, gate valves right in through here. Furnace vent, 12 gallon gas electric water heater, 50 amp detachable style cord, and then an additional black water flush kit here for our secondary washroom. As we come down the back side, all right, we've got a couple slides here, not a big deal. All right, we have our class three receiver here at the back. That's good for 300 pounds down, 3,000 pounds pulling, four-way wiring, roof ladder. Get your stinking life together. Get up on the roof, check your seals every 90 days. And then we do have the backup camera prep up there at the top as well. The prep, not the actual camera. Now we have an update on this kitchen. It does all the same functional stuff, but I think it looks way better. We got like the steel doors here, all right, which are gonna you know help hold that better, especially for like an outside kitchen. That's all nice there. We've got great counter space here. We got a sink that's plumbed right into our gray water. We got the suburban griddle where you're cooking right on here, literally with gas. A little bit of a drain there. Pull it out, easy peasy. Pull it out here, and then check out this new frigid air fridge. Look at that fridge right there. The black finish, kind of like this titanium kind of look to it there. Nice looking fridge, great looking outside kitchen, everything you need. I mentioned outside entrance into the washroom. That's from here, nice easy access from the campsite, nice easy access uh, for the kids room and uh, on the road there. Now, we have an electric on and off the main slide, which is fantastic. Big door side windows, outside speakers, and then our main awning starts right here, goes all the way forward. Our secondary entrance is the like, standard kind of four step entrance. This has that more right step that folds right in. It is spring assisted, so it's nice and easy to flip up, up and in. Not a big deal, kids can do that. And then we have the other side of our pass through. I told you it was wider. It's wider over here on this side. We got our inverter switch here. Uh, for, you know, had to do with our, uh, our, our solar kit, that kind of thing. And we also have a battery disconnect. That's the outside, folks. Let's have a look inside. Right on, folks. We're inside that Solitude 3740BH. This has got the optional furniture on it, like that kind of chase lounge. Uh, we haven't seen this in a year or two. Just hasn't. We haven't come across this in a while. I'm a huge fan. Are you? Are you a fan? Well, yeah. It looks off. It doesn't just look awesome. It is awesome. Yeah. It's functional. It's great. You got the two kind of chairs in through here. I'm set at the chase lounge. I'm six feet tall. I got. Lots of space in through here. Windows in behind me. I'm facing this TV. I'm looking up through the kitchen window. Just a great kind of space in through here. It feels more open maybe to me. I, I don't know. I, I like this furniture a lot. I got space here. I can store my remotes. A couple of cup holders here for drinks. And then our tables here are removable. So if you're not using them for dinette, you know, pull them out of the way. Easy peasy. Uh, they're individual tables. And then behind there, we have a three-seater trifold style sofa, which is fantastic. Um, just a great kind of furniture option. 
Uh, again, it's not going to every one we bring in, but a big fan of this style of furniture. Door side windows here, looking out to our campsite underneath that secondary awning. That's great. We got access here to our bunk room. We're going to get to it here. Our TCL Roku TV is facing that theater seat or that, that uh, Chase kind of lounge there. Our fireplace is down below. That's put on some nice electric heat. And then we're going to have our radio right here. Open shelf right there for like a gaming system or satellite system or something like that in through there, which is fantastic. Above all this counter space, we're going to have a plates and cup action. Another covered door here for cereal boxes. Furion convection microwave on this particular one. Nice kitchen window that's long. It spans face the full width of that counter space. Brings us a nice natural light. Fury on range, uh, blue lights on there. Nice and deep in through here. And then oven drawer for your pots and pans. Now, some more storage there as well. And then one thing I like to point out with these Fury on ranges that I'm a fan of is when you turn on the oven or the, the, the burner, this turns red, letting you know you have gas flowing. It's kind of like a safety thing that I like. We got our big Samsung residential fridge here, which is again an option on this particular one. I prefer it this way, uh, but you know there obviously is a uh, gas electric option here as well. 12 cubic foot for the gas electric. The residential is definitely bigger. I think it's an 18 cubic foot. I'll we'll have to check on that. Stores there. Pantry space here. Okay. These shelves are set back far enough. You can put a broom in there pretty easy. There is a light up there as well. Now over to our island before we get to our hutch. Nice kind of right angle uh, countertop finish here. LED lights underneath the awning. Nice thick counter space. Undermount stainless steel sink with a lower divider making it easy to get those big pots and pans in through there. Uh, black, a flat black kind of faucet with a pull out uh, faucet head. And then covered space down here. And then drawers that are nice and wide and deep in through here. Fantastic stuff. Okay, all finished off well, done well by Grand Design. Now looking past the island, we still have our hutch. We got some receptacles, uh, a set of receptacles right here for like a Keurig machine, that kind of thing. USBs there, drawers again, cupboards there. This is the spot for your breakers and your fuses. But then there's another cupboard here. There's another set of breakers here for the fridge and for probably, probably your solar, that kind of thing. Overhead shelving and then more storage there. Now, these do pop out nice and easy, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, I'm just a big fan of that. I was going to say something about this area, though. Oh, that's what it was. I forgot to mention we do have some storage underneath the Chase Lounge. We'll get to that from here. Okay? And that's where you store the tables. That's where you store the tables. Thank you, Will. Into the back bedroom. It's a killer back bedroom. It's about as good as it gets for a secondary bunk room I've seen. We got a smaller bunk up here, which is going to fold up out of the way. Lock into place, easy peasy. We got the couch down here, okay, which is great. There is a spot up on the wall there to put a TV. You can bring that around an arm. I got great viewing in through here for the kids. We got another small bunk here. I'm six feet tall. Let's see if I fit. I would fit on an angle in through here, but definitely the top bunk I'm gonna fit because it goes the full width of the trailer, okay? And then we got a nice deeper uh, double bunk in here and then how often will do we get that question where's the bunk ladder where's the bunk ladder we got ourselves a bunk ladder here not often do we get that hop up and in that back bunk nice window right through here and then a whole whack of storage in this area these are these aren't very deep only six inches deep or so but look how deep this is there to put your shirts up and through there great storage and then four drawers here down below and then just when you thought we were done the back bunk room we're heading into the washroom Squat check is going to check out for sure. The dump truck fits. Seamless counter, cover space underneath there for like a, a garbage can for the secondary washroom. Again, flat black fixtures, no medicine cabinet, but your kids shouldn't be taking drugs anyways. Uh, we got drawers in through here. Fantastic stuff. Oh, Will, come check this out. Oh, another invite. Yeah, another invite into the washroom. I just go, come I on. Don't we'll, come we'll switch quite fit through the... Well, we're going to... There we go, buddy. There we go. That was a little bit too personal, eh, for us both? No significant other will see that. <laughs> but there's oh, a bunch of storage that? in there. I want to make sure you saw that it's for the washroom. So that's more or less your medicine cabinet. So the kids can have a whole bunch of drugs. <laughs> All right. Anyways. How are you parents? up to you. Okay. Up the stairs. Into that main washroom. Okay. Another squat check. The dump truck fits again. We're two for two. Covered space. Covered space, spot there to hang your towels, nice seamless 
uh, solid surface here, even in the washroom. Not the secondary washroom, the main washroom. We do got all that storage underneath. We got ourselves a medicine cabinet here. Dropping down into the tub, all right, because the floor is basically the same level, so it's nice and easy to get into here. Lots of he headroom in here. Upgraded shower head. That's good stuff, fantastic. Into the bedroom. All right, we got the king bed option. Okay, it's a, it's an option here to get a queen. This one's got the king. We still got bedside tables. We still got bedside windows. I got receptacles over there with the USB, and then I got is there anything else on this side. I gotta have USBs. Hmm. There they are. USB receptacle there on both sides of the bed. Big fan. And then check out this big closet. Right, goes nice and deep all the way to the side there. Shelves built in hanging shelf above and then we do got our bedroom TV which kind of kicked out facing the bunk room there and then we got drawers here for our dresser hopefully you guys enjoyed the video please like the video subscribe to the channel share that with your friends then you can email us here at sales at lazyacres.com have yourself a good day